Hi guys, I'm back today with a video on a brand that you guys already know. Like you already know, when something from them comes out, I'm always gonna pick it up. I don't think there's, a, I don't think I can not pick something up from them. So I'm guessing that you probably already know the brand that I'm talking about right now is Melt Cosmetics. And the collection that I'm talking about is their Nudes, Nudes, Nudes collection, which is massive. So I was trying to like hold it out of frame for a second. And I went ahead and I got the whole thing because I had to. I have an obsession with nude lipsticks. And so this is what the outside looks like. This is the case you get. This is $250, so this is no joke. But the case on its own is $45, and the lipsticks on their own are $22. So the price in them has gone up $2, but I'm gonna talk to you about why that has happened. So this is what the case is like. It's super luxe. Like, like it's very soft. I really like the texture that's on it. And then when you open, oh actually, and then it's got a really nicely tooled like melt thing right here. It's really cute. When you open it up, here is the inside. You've got all of the boxes that all the lipsticks came in. You've got a nice little zipper pouch here. They actually showed on Melt's page where they took off this piece right here that's holding the lipsticks and then they shoved like a bunch of palettes and lipsticks and all kinds of good things in there. And uh, should I ever travel, I will be doing the same thing. I would also be taking my honeycomb melt bag because it is adorable and it matches my mirror. I just feel like I really vibe with everything that Melt puts out. That's that's just kind of where I'm at. So in any case, I'm going to show you guys some comparisons here. So I've got, this is their new lipsticks. And let's just talk about this for a second. This packaging is very high end. Like, like to me, the price increase, which is only $2, makes a lot of sense. Because before you were getting their lipsticks in like this basic kind of black packaging, which is nice and I actually don't mind it. I just think it you know, like when it goes on sale, I feel like that price is more fitting for something like this. But this is legit. This kind of gives me vibes of like Lisa Eldridge, but not quite as heavy. And then, I mean, it's got this beautiful, like it's got their name on the side, but it's like kind of popped out a little bit. It's really cute. And then this actual lid is magnetic. Which is cool, as long as you don't have it next to other lids that are magnetic, and then you just end up with a mess like I did earlier. But if you don't, this is really nice. You don't have to worry about it, like, popping off. And then the lipsticks on the inside are so beautiful. Hopefully you can see all of the embossing they've done on these lipsticks with their name. Oh, it is so pretty. I really love that people are doing this with their lipsticks now. Like, I don't know. It's like an extra touch of something just to it that, yes, it's not necessary. You don't need it, but... I'm just saying, I'm, I'm into it being there. So in any case, I really think they did a heck of a job with this new packaging. I think it's really great. The amount of product that you get in this is the exact same as the amount of product that you get in this, even though it is quite a bit more compact. So just so you guys have that information. And then just to compare it to a third one, this is like the mini, and this has just a little bit less than half of what's in both of these. So this is what it looked like before. I will put it up for you guys to see. And there's no, it's it's just a very basic kind of lipstick. And, and there's nothing wrong with that because I still love their lipsticks. I think they're really nice, actually. Um, the scent doesn't seem to have changed. However, I will say this. I feel like some of these smell different than each other, but I've been told that it's all the same smell. So I don't know. <laughs> so let me just tell you guys right off the bat, I really love these. I think that it is great. I like the formulation. I like the way it feels on my lips. I will say this, if you have a lot of texture to your lips, either exfoliate your lips before you put them on or make sure you're putting on a lip balm. Because when I did the try-ons for all of them, they are a very matte formula. So you're going to be able to tell that I needed to exfoliate my lips. <laughs> Um, and, or I could have put on my, my lip balm beforehand, but I did not do that because I wanted to just get them on, get an accurate view of them. I should have just, I should have just put the lip balm underneath. I don't know why I didn't. I usually do for liquid lipstick swatches. So in any case, I didn't do that. I've got it underneath here now. And I feel like it's like the perfect balance. So, I will say this though, the formulation on its own is definitely harder to get off. So if you want something that's longer lasting, I definitely think go that way without the balm. So that's just all of my opinions. Maybe just exfoliate and then put on the lipstick. Boy, I went into that. <laughs> so in any case, I want to go ahead and swatch these for you guys. I'm going to swatch them on my arm, and then I'm going to put them on my lips for you guys so you can see all of the colors. And then I'll come back at the very end and give you my final thoughts, but you already know. <laughs> okay, so the very first shade is called Zaddy. It's kind of like a peachy tone grayish pink. I know that the gray might be hard to catch there, but I swear from this light on the side, you can see it. Called Hora. And that is a beautiful kind of pink nude shade. It is called Paris Fling. Ooh. 
And that is actually really similar to this, but I would say slightly more pinky beige toned, if that makes any sense. It's called Paulina. And that's like an orange pink tone shade as well. It actually kind of reminded me of 710 a little bit, which is a color they used to have, but more pink. It is called Ho Is Life. And this lipstick is, is life, actually. And that is another beautiful kind of gray tone pink shade. The next shade is called Working Girl. And that's like almost a slightly green undertoned orange shade. It is really cool. It is really interesting. And I kind of dig the crap out of it. The shade is called Tease. And I am wearing this with Hora today. It's like a beautiful gray tone mauve kind of shade. This is the shade Lose My Number. And again, that's almost like a green undertone kind of orange shade, but deeper. It's called Double D's and it makes me laugh because I used to be a set of Double D's. Now I'm like in the E's. <laughs> And that is a gorgeous kind of brown tone shade. I dig that one a lot. Sin City. I have too many tendons over here. But it's almost another orangish greenish undertone brown shade. It's triple X or XXX. I'll just tell you guys, that shade is so dark. It looks like it's black, but it's like a brown so dark that it's almost black and I I really enjoy it I thought it was very vampy at least for my skin tone that's something I love about melt they are as you can see very inclusive and you can clearly see that from the shades that are available in this nude collection I think that no matter if you are in the fair range the mid range or the deeper skin tones you are gonna be covered you are gonna like the shades that are here and I, I think they did a great job I just think that yeah they knocked this one out of the park in my opinion <laughs>
All right, you guys, I am back and I want to give you my final thoughts. So first things first, let's kind of do like a little recap of everything. This is, if you get the full collection, this is what it comes in. This whole kit is $250. So essentially you're getting this for free and $5 off of the rest of the lipsticks, which isn't a lot when it comes to the lipsticks, but let me tell you guys, I'm normally not like a case kind of person, but this is a legit case. I kind of dig it a lot, actually. It's huge. It's actually like, look at this thing. This thing is massive. So the inside, this has got all the boxes that come with the lipsticks. They're really cute. I like the packaging. I think they just do a good job. That's Mel all around though. Like they can't do packaging bad. Like, that's just my opinion for the most part. I don't think there's any packaging that Mel has done that I dislike. Maybe the one that is like my least favorite possibly would be Impulsive and that's just because it was so clunky and different. But in any case, I digress. Uh, so up here you've got this really nice pouch. It's got a zipper on it. Again, it's really cute. You can take this piece out right here and then stack like palettes or whatever you want to put in there. If you want to put something that's not makeup related in there, you can. But it is a really nice quality case, I've got to say. There are 11 new shades and if you don't get them in the bundle it is $22 a piece that is $2 more than they used to charge at full price for their lipsticks on the site previously I think honestly they knocked it out of the park I think that this packaging is so beautiful like it is always oh, I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm not even showing you guys so it is kind of you can get fingerprints on it so I guess if I had one negative <laughs> that would be it but it's kind of a petty one to, in my opinion in any case you've got kind of this beautiful standout of their name this is magnetic which i am here for when you twist this up you've got this gorgeous i'm gonna see if it'll hopefully show you guys better beautiful embossing it is it is so stunning i am a thousand percent into that and i love the colors i think that they are unique i like the undertones i am here for it all day long the formulation is a little bit more on the matte side so so if you have a lot of texture to your lips, I again suggest exfoliating them or putting on a lip balm underneath it. If you want it to wear longer, do the exfoliation. If you are not really worried about it, then throw a lip balm under it. In any case, I definitely think that these are well worth the price. If you want to maybe save some money, wait for a sale or possibly pick them up on Sephora and use your points or, you know, wait for a Sephora sale. But I... If there's some colors you like, I'd be snapping them up and throwing them right in your purse because I really dig them. I think they did a fabulous job and Mel, you guys did a thing. That's all I'm here to say. So in any case, I really hope that this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, make sure you leave a comment down below. Like this video. What is this? I keep doing the weirdest hand motions on all of my videos, but apparently if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a comment, like this video, subscribe, and ring the bell. I'm sorry, I'm on one. Just ignore me right now. My husband came home. Subscribe and ring the bell <laughs> and ring the bell. Subscribe and ring the bell. Oh my gosh, there you go. I now have like an actual jingle for it. <laughs> it was better than what I say every time, and at least you didn't get this motion from him. Although if he pops around the corner and does that, I'm going to die. No, nothing's popping out. Love you. <gasps> <laughs> love you so in any case i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys